Hello. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. How's it going? How's everybody doing today? How are we doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope I didn't leave you waiting too long. I understand it took a bit of time. But I finally crunched the numbers. And today, what we are going to do very simply is look through the numbers objectively on the stocks that you bought a year ago. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, it took me an extra half hour, okay? All right, I'm not proud of that fact. It was 45 minutes. It was 45. Yeah, yeah, it took me an extra 45 minutes. I'm not proud of that fact. But I wanted to make sure we had a good final product. I apologize. At the end of the day, this is on my shoulders. I take responsibility. Can we move on now? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Forgive me already. I said sorry. Let me hit, please. <laughs> Focus. Boys, please. Thank you for the memberships. Nate. Oh, hey, it's Gage. Dude, I just realized why this music sounds so weird. I'm listening in 1.75x speed. I was listening to a freaking podcast going fast like, like molasses. 100 gifted subs and we'll forgive you. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. First off, thank you, Wolfham, Kaladin, Sue, Payton. Still with the scam shirt, I see. Is it on sale yet? No, it'll be on sale next Wednesday, 27th. Mads, thank you for the five. I have a music competition tomorrow, and I'm using the stream to calm nerves. Good vibes, please. Mads, nothing but good vibes always. You need to think of the 14 months. Wes Lex, hey, Gage, Lord, Voodoo Farmer. I've been enjoying the Parasocial Club so far. Just wondering, for this month's game, are you going to be playing that new dragon game? Dragon's Dogma? Dogma balls are in your mouth. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Skip the fucking. It's not fucking cool, man. As a Okay. Let's cut through the bullshit. All right? Let's talk about what we are doing here today. By show of ones, who was there over a year ago when I gave you guys $10,000 to buy whatever you wanted from the stock exchange? If you don't know, a quick recap, the basic way that it worked is that anybody could type a stock ticker into chat. You would say buy whatever, and then it would auto-populate, and then two of them would eventually pop up. Two of the suggested stocks that people spammed. I would look through to see what those companies are, and then we would vote which one we want to buy. Every stock was purchased for $500 worth of shares, however many that equaled, whether it was one share or you know, over share, whatever it was. Uh, and then that portfolio, that $10,000 portfolio, 20 different stocks was meant to compete against my own portfolio. And I basically went through and I just bought 20 stocks. All right. And, and, and we wanted to see who would do better. All right. YouTube chat or me, a real human trading stocks. Now, you might think that, oh, Ludwig, you're such a fucking idiot. There's no way you'd be able to buy good stock. I'll have you know, in college, this is a true story, I had a short stint as a day trader. For about three months, I would wake up every day at, I believe, 6 a.m., and I would day trade penny stocks with my two friends. We all pulled in together $1,000, and we ended up earning, over the course of three months, $27. Okay? 
That is a 2.7% return in three months. Yes, we are beating the fucking uh, inflation numbers. We're crushing them, in fact. We're crushing inflation numbers. Yes. <laughs> crazy. We are crazy. We do crazy shit. So. I do consider myself a wolf of Wall Street of sorts. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I've received an urgent message. I must reply. Oh, my God. I dropped my phone. Hold up. Pause, champ. Pause, champion. Dude, I cracked my phone screen today. I was so sad. It's not actually my phone screen because I use a phone screen protector, but still, now I have to get a new protector. What the frick, man? Alanis, thank you very much for the membership. 20 gifted from Adenine. 20 gifted from Steve. Is that 40 gifted from Steve? Steve, you gifted 40 out here? I didn't even notice your first 20, and then you gave me another 20. What if I didn't notice that 20 either? Thank you, the five, Caleb. Appreciate all the memberships. Thank you for the gifted Mandelville. Uh, all right, let me remove my pin. Let me remove my pin. Okay. All right, I have a presentation for you all. I have a presentation for you all. This stream today, by the way, is just going to be going over these stock numbers that I'm going to end because I have a birthday thing I'm going to tonight. So that is all we're doing today. All right? So just to, just to recap, a year ago, I let you guys spend $10,000 worth of my money to buy any stocks you wanted. You could spam any stock. Two of them would auto-populate. We'd look through the companies, and you would vote which one to buy. At the outset, 20 total stocks were chosen for a $10,000 valuation, about $500 in each company. I did the same exact thing where I spent $500 on 20 different stocks for a total of $10,000. And I also asked two additional people to do that. And the question that we need to determine today, who's smarter? Me or you? Because for whatever reason, probably Wolf of Wall Street and how hot Margot Robbie was in it, people think day trading, stock trades actually are related to intelligence or at least how successful you will be in this world okay but who's smarter fuckers is it me or is it you okay me big brain streamer or a collective conscious of 20,000 people we've seen in the past people day trade with fish monkeys ai is chat better than that that's what we're here to find out. So let's look at our presentation here together. What stocks did you buy? First, a, a recap of sorts. If you guys don't remember, if you weren't there for the stream, here is a look at all of the stocks, okay? Here's a look at all of them. These were all your choices, all right? You got Apple, Advanced Micro, Amazon, Alibaba, Best Buy, Cal. You, you got a bunch of stocks, okay? All right, feel free to pause, rewind, look through them if you want. That was all your stocks. All right? Now, who are you competing against? There are four total competitors who we are going to show today. The first one is me. What's up? I also spent $10,000. Again, $500 per stock, 20 total stocks. The next person, stock guy. All right? This guy, if you do not know, is a Twitch streamer, and he literally streams himself every day trading stocks. <laughs> he is also competing in this contest. Less as a direct competitor and more of like, a, okay, what does an actual pro do, you know? How would an actual pro stack up to me or YouTube chat? And the final competitor, and this one you guys might not know about, is a actual baby. <laughs> This is real, by the way. Stock Guy had a baby the exact same month that we did the stock buying stream a year ago. And through just pulling up two random stocks, he had his baby pick a total of $10,000 worth of stocks. And we we're going to see if you guys lose to a fucking baby. Or worse, if I lose to a baby. So anyway, that's our four competitors. Stock Guy, who's supposed to be the pro chat the unknown variable myself a very intelligent man and a literal baby now the first thing we need to look at is the facts and the facts are 
that although we are comparing how we did against each other, we have to also compare how we did against the market as a whole. Because you're kind of playing a stupid game if you just look at the gains without looking how the total market went up. And over the past 12 months, serendipitously, it has been a fantastic year if you bought stocks. The S&P 500, which is an aggregate of like the total stock market and how it is performing, is up almost 32%, right? So if you were to just buy shares in the S&P 500 for $10,000, you would have gained 31.81%, right? Straight up. So technically, technically, anything that underperforms the S&P 500 is probably a failure. <laughs> but we are trying to also not just look at how we compare to the S&P 500, but how we compare it against each other. That makes sense? All right. Let's go next. This is just another graphic for the S&P 500. Again, literally, if you were to just put $10,000 into the S&P 500, you would have 31.81% more money now. That's just... It's just doing really fucking well. I don't know how else to phrase it. It's doing really fucking well. Really, like, really well. Okay? All right, does everybody, does everybody generally understand? So, if any of us has a return of 32% or higher, then not only uh, are you maybe beating some of the other competitors, you're beating the stock market as a whole. Mm-hmm. Think of the 50 gifted Willow Huckleberry. And I think another 20 gifted from Steve. Thank you. All right. First up, we have a competitor. And I just I decided to take just a little bite size. All right. To look at the first initial peaks. Again, all these stocks were purchased around the month of March, about a week after we did our initial stream. I think March 22nd or 3rd to be exact. And this date range in this competitor from March 23rd to July 11th, went from $10,000 to 11314 which is a gain of over 10%, but is still $100 off from the S&P, all right? So the dark blue line is this competitor, and this over here is the S&P. Now, I want you to take a guess who this is. They also had the first initial spike. They were in first place towards the start of the competition. Which of the four do you think this is? Because they're doing very well. <laughs> I don't know how. A lot of you guessed, guessed correctly. You're right. It was the baby. The baby, July 11th, was at $11,314. Just $100 off from the S&P 500. From the aggregate of the market. However, there is somebody who did better. A week later, July 18th, they were at 11,663 and throughout the entirety of the first few months were beating the S&P 500. Like if you look at almost every single stop with the exception of the month of May, this competitor outperformed the S&P 500. A very impressive thing to do. And if you're able to do that on any sort of consistent basis, well, you could find yourself to be a very rich man. And I'm not going to, hey, I'm not going to brag too much today. Thank you, the 50 gifted wi wi Willow. Jesus, that's 100. What the fuck? Thank you, Willow. I'm not, hey, I don't want to brag about myself too much today. So I won't. This is actually you guys. And in fact, throughout the first four months, you guys were the top performer. From the months of March to July, I don't believe any of the competitors were more consistently beating the S&P 500 than you. But that is only four out of 12 months. So we got some more to get to. And it wasn't all up, not just for the competitors here, but for the stock market as a whole. In fact, chat, uh, it went down pretty quick. <laughs> It went down pretty quick for you all. You might notice the peaks quickly vanished. Quickly vanished. All right? Not only did you fall in line with the S&P 500, you fell much quicker. 
In October 27th, just before Halloween, you guys were below the $10,000 amount we started with. So if you literally just put your money under a mattress, you would have made more money or I guess lost less money. And you were almost $1,000 off from the S&P 500. Now that's not great. But it is by far not the worst anyone performed. <laughs> because the baby damn fell off. I'm just, uh, I gotta move myself for a second. Just, I, my camera actually blocks. I didn't realize it went that low. The baby fell off. All right. Some great initial spikes. But very quickly, somehow went $2,000. Off the S&P 500. That is a hard thing to do, I think, if you tried. But there has been a competitor. In fact, two competitors we haven't seen yet. And this competitor, actually, is now in the lead. October 27th, the same date that you guys... We're $900 below the S&P 500. This competitor who hadn't beaten, if you look at this graph, had not for one single day beat the S&P 500, was leading the competition. And by the way, leading the competition by $20. You guys were at $9,580. This portfolio was at $9,600. Many of you guessed correctly. That is me. Uh, I did not have a strong start. In fact, I did not have a strong year. And not a single day in the first eight months was I beating the S&P 500. Now, my portfolio, I will tell you right now, was heavily over leveraged on blue chip stocks. Stocks like Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA, a lot of tech stocks, a lot of American blue chip tech stocks. And, and that shit wasn't looking great. It wasn't looking great for me. All right. Cherry picked day. It is true. It is. Tr you know, you're not wrong. Pretty much. If you look at the charts side by side, you guys were beating me basically every single day up until October 27th. Right. Because this 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 light blue line. Again, this is the aggregate of the stock market, the S&P 500. And you guys were beating it for a lot of the time. I was beating it for none of the time. Okay. But what do you think happened? Because I will show you right now. This is the entire chart between myself and you guys. And you can see it ramps up a lot at the end there. And I want to tell you, between me and you, where we are today is a difference of $58. $58 separates me and you guys. Who do you think won? <laughs> the answer? Get absolutely fucking trounced, shitheads! Let's go, baby! Take a look. Today, we have $12,451 for chat. $12,509 for myself. Almost the entire competition, you guys giga-gapped me, but I come back! Nobody trades like me! I can't believe how close it was, by the way. Like, we did definitely share a few stocks, but not that many. And we were wildly different at times. Like, if we look through this chart, the biggest difference was about $1,000. Like, you guys were close to beating me by But at the end of the fucking day, baby, I beat 
you. Crushed you. Now, you might be wondering, very fairly, what about our other competitors? So let's go over all the portfolios right now. Hold up, I gotta just do a little freaking ba 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 ba. Uh, and I also need to give a very quick thank you to Hartzell Drew, who made all of the graphs that you guys are about to see. Uh, they uh, they they were a fucking mega help, and they're also a giga chad. I don't want to show a picture of them to dox them, but. They got fucking biceps like you've never seen in your damned life. So very much thank you to Drew for uh, for making the graphs, which I was struggling immensely on. Uh, and now let's take a look together at all the data. All right. Sound good? Let's take a look together at all the data. Uh, starting with. Boom. All right. Ludwig's chat. Oh, excuse me. Ludwig's picks versus chat's picks over the year. Uh, and you can see the price today. I have beat you guys by $58. And although, although you might be thinking to yourself, damn, you know, even though you won, Ludwig, and that's your fucking piece of shit and you probably rigged this, we both did really well. This is crazy. It's a, it's a, In fact, it's insane how well we both did. You might start to think that maybe we know what the fuck we're doing. The answer no, the fuck we don't. <laughs> uh, let me show you real quick. Because although I did beat you guys, if I were to have just put $10,000 into the S&P 500, I would currently be sitting at $13,281. But I am not sitting at $13,281. I am $700 off that. Because I decided to do my own picks. Which is why you'll often get the wisdom that people say, hey, rather than investing into stocks and doing it yourself, if you just go into some, what do they call that shit? I'm blanking on the word right now. If you just buy an index fund, an ETF, the boring, safe investment route, basically. You will probably win over a longer period of time than if you are trying to beat the stock market yourself. And that is the case for both myself and for you guys. And if you're wondering how the baby did and why we stopped looking at the baby, well, things didn't go so great. At the worst, the baby was $2,000 below the S&P 500. Now, having said that, the market did so well, the baby still made over $1,000. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Usually they say if, as long as you're over 6%, you're beating inflation. You're pretty happy with that. The baby had a return of 13.3%. It is profit, all right? You know the saying, you'll never lose money taking a profit. However, you would have made a lot more money, in fact, almost $2,000 more money if, again, you just bet on the S&P 500 rather than having a baby randomly pick stocks. And the final, the final man, who I have not shown this entire time, and I begrudgingly have to show you now, is a man who describes himself as the stock guy, which is like a dot-com era boomer name for yourself. Like, imagine calling yourself, like, the stream guy. <laughs> and you would think, you would think, you know, a guy with a name like the stock guy would either do really well or maybe do embarrassingly bad because he's talking out of his ass the entire year. But, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not here to shit on the stock guy because, man, did he fucking crush. <laughs> and he is the only person... Of the four competitors to have beaten the S&P 500. Sure, not by a lot, but impressively got a 34.27% return ending at just over $13,400, beating the S&P 500 by just a couple hundred bucks. Not even, like 140 bucks. <laughs> so shout out to Stock Guy for this insane last second comeback right here. 
narrowly edging out the S&P 500. Uh, the only person to do it. Win's a win, baby. Win is a win. Uh, and that, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how y'all did in the stock market against myself, stock guy, and an actual baby. So first place, stock guy. Second place, me. Third place, you guys. And you only beat a baby. Drake's in chat. Way to beat a baby. That's huge. That's so big. Now, my game plan is to sell all that shit and let me throw it on black. Imagine. Yo, what if I sold all portfolios? Put that shit on black. <laughs> Dude, imagine though. For a second, just imagine. That's the real way to put it. Put it all on black 31. Uh... It is crazy. The only reason I beat you guys is because we waited a full year. I think 11 months, 10 months, 9 months, not only do you guys beat me, I think you also beat Stock Guy. Do it, you won't. I actually don't think I will. I actually... Uh, dude, that'd be too scary. How much money would that be? So I actually bought all of your stocks. I bought all of my stocks. And then I also bought $10,000 of the S&P 500. So what is that? Like 13,000 times 3 basically? That's like 40k. Dude. No, what if I just take the earnings? Maybe that makes sense. Just take the earnings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell it all, take all the earnings. That's way better. Like 9K? I could stomach that. Because then if I lose it, what do I actually lose? 9K. Fuck. <laughs> I thought about it a little bit harder. No, I'd still lose 9K. But nah, but like I wouldn't really lose it. You know what I mean? Because like I never had it. Oh, fuck taxes. Capital gains tax. How do billionaires do this? So instead of actually selling it, using the earnings to gamble $9,000, I do what billionaires do. I take out a loan for $9,000 leveraged against my stocks, and then I gamble that. And if I lose, I just take out another loan leveraged against my other, you know what I mean? And we keep going down the fucking rabbit hole. And I double or nothing until I win. I feel like this is foolproof in a way. You should take out 6% inflation and tax. I feel like you're not thinking big picture here. Uh, Alright, chat. Anyway, sorry it took me so long to get that presentation prepared. I think it took me longer to make it than it took me to present it. Uh, but we have a little extra time. So why don't we... Play some daily games. Any daily game enjoyers? Run it back another year, double or nothing? I, I'm scared, dude. The stock market has gone up by so much, 31%. I just can't feasibly believe it'll do that again. So instead, it's going to be the opposite, where the S&P 500 loses like 20%. And then it'll be like, all right, how much percent did we lose? <laughs> Oh, wow, only 25%. When is the members only inside a trading stream? <laughs> well, actually, that's every member only stream if you tune in. Thank you, Nactarius. Can you just give it to me, please? Uh, no, smiley face. The Shield, thank you very much. Or the Seal, thank you very much for the membership. All right, what, what are our daily games, chat? Give me some daily games. It's Wordle, New York Times Connections, New York Times Crossword. What 
what else we got? It's... Uh, ooh, uh, what's it called? Uh, spell check game. Travel. I need revenge on cost codal. I'll do trivia grid. I never do well, but I'll do it. Movie grid? Sure. I'll embarrass myself. What else we got? Time guesser? I can do a quick time guesser. New York Times Strands. I'm just not a Strands fan. We could we could maybe dabble. All right, let's dive in. Let's dive in. We got Wordle. Oh my god, King Tell with a 50 fucking dollars, bro. Thank you. If you really don't care about 10k, putting it all into NVIDIA calls options on Monday, 980C expiring in May. Put, so, okay. Put it into NVIDIA call options on Monday, $980C expiring in May. What does that mean? So you're basically saying make a bet that NVIDIA is going to go up to $980 in May? And if it doesn't go up, then I get fucked. How much do I serve to gain? If it does hit. A fair bit. <laughs> yes, but you should only hold for a few days. Can make a shit ton. Wait, but I don't get it. You said hold it till May. Willow Huckleberry, thank you for the 20 gifted. I appreciate it. It's March right now. I'd have to hold it six weeks. You lost straight away in Skeppy's contest Elwig. I did. That shit fucking sucked. They even tried to cheat to get me to finish. I couldn't do it. All right. Stock. Penis. What the f <laughs> Okay. All right. How about maybe like ISH, like, uh, like, um, hmm, like brush, but it needs a, but it needs an I, like wish, wish or blish, flish, mlish, mrish, frish, drish, drish, no, Cr no. R R it could also be like bring no it needs an s brit brit brins like that that seems like a good structure although it's definitely not it obviously Dr 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 Drins. What the fuck am I even doing anymore with my Grins? Why did I put an S at the end? That's crazy. I just dead ass did that. Okay. All right. And wait, now I know all five letters. S E N I S S E N I S. No, excuse me. S E N I R. Right? Like uh, that's our that's all our words. N 
nicer. I wish you were nicer to me. Rinse. That looks kind of good. It's not right because the N. So the N almost needs to be at the start, right? Well, maybe not. S I am a sinner. Signer? No. Sneer. 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 Snor. S Snary? Snire. No, can't be that. Huh. Ri riz. 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 Rinse. Rinse. Wait, rinse? No, I already went through this. I actually have no brain. I think, what if it ends at the start? I. S. E. R. N. I. S. N. R. I. No. R. R. I. S. Risen. Movie Grid, Willem Dafoe, Robin Wright, Tony Colletti. I only know one of those people. One word title, ignore the. Lighthouse. Three or more word title. Spider Man Homecoming. Or is it No Way Home? What's the one with all the spiders? What's the one? Spider-Man No Way Home? I'm sorry to typecast you, Willem Dafoe. Robin Wright. Avengers Infinity War. Tony Colletti, Avengers Infinity War. Oh my God, I know her. Oh my God, I know her. She is in Gone Girl. I don't know her. I don't know her. She is the wife who becomes Madam President in House of Cards. Wow. Uh, it was a tough day. Uh, I'm not going to lie. We're not proud of our performance out there that, that, uh, it doesn't reflect who I am as a human. Uh, damsel, the princess bride forest. She's in forest Gump. She's in forest Gump. Hereditary little miss sunshine Muriel's wedding. I am only as good as fucking 20%. All right, that was a tough one. You know what? L look, let me do let me do my fucking let me do my daily mini crossword. I'm an electric crossword player. This one's longer than usual. Stephen A Smith's channel. I'm fucked. Stephen A Smith's channel. Stephen A. Smith's channel. What does that mean, his channel? Like the network that he's on? Fox One? Las Vegas through fair with the. 
the tram. Valuable substance in the world of Dune. Isn't it called Spice? Fashion designer Mark High Schooler. Whirl of Water. Okay, this is bad. Suffix with priest or count. Pr Wait, what? Suffix with priest? Priestess. Countess. Neighboring city of Tampa informally. Don't, go, don't know. Put a cost on. Uh, it is a, pr a praise. No. S uh, scratched or a coin with small change. Scratched or a coin with small change. Nicked. What, what do you mean or? Why is there a fucking circle? What does or mean? Garden flower or a coin with small change. What? How is there two? I don't know how crosswords work. Ref, I don't know how... Garden flower, a garden flower. What's a garden flower? A rose. <laughs> uh, sunflower. Uh, okay, let's just move on. Las Vegas through fair with the 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 speedway. The speedway. Stephen A. Oh, ESPN. Okay, that was dumb. Neighboring city of Tampa. Put a cost on. Ah, uh, priced. Priced. Okay, now we're cooking. Fashion designer Mark. Mark. Eck. Eck. Mark Ock. Mark Icky. High schooler. Weed. Why would that make sense? High schooler. Seas. High schooler. What does that mean? World of water. I think this is wrong. Did it? Did it? Whirl of water. Did it? Uh, in Iddy, Iddy, Addy, Addy, Iddy. Okay, what I know is that this has to end with a Y. Small change, penny. Is penny a flower? I don't know. High schooler is a teen. Addy. Give me the Addy. I don't know. Uh Ekin? That doesn't make sense. I think I think this is wrong. I think this is wrong. Ekin? Strip! The strip. Sp 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 oh Saint Saint Peter. This is wrong. So I think what I'm what I'm getting the vibe is that because like this is either nickel, which is like the small change, or nicked. So I'm I'm thinking it means it's either or, and because I, I didn't write nickel, so I don't think it's. I think penny is a small change, but they want the garden flower, and cutie's favorite flower is actually a peony. Uh, so I think it's peony. So I think now I need to know this guy, Echo, Echo. Echo, 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 uh, Uko. Oh, maybe this is an L and it's Adley. What, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Oh. Spec. Maybe the A is wrong? Saint. Maybe the A is wrong. That would make sense. So let's let's keep it nicked. 
and let's keep it peony. And let's go instead of Addy. What's an Eddie? Eddie. A circular movement of water counter to main currents causing a small whirlpool. Is that named after a dude? Okay, cool. Think of the hundred currency or Milla. What is the sum of a square of the first hundred natural numbers? Lud. Thought just a hundred natural numbers would be too easy for Lud. And tell me the formula, too. Bro, I just made three fucking bands investing in stocks. I don't worry about what numbers are natural. I worry about what numbers I can stack up, okay? You feel me? Here, here's a formula, dude. Fucking st stacking fucking paper, idiot. Name four groups. Think of the 100 currency, though. Name four groups. Trek, field. Trek, field. Trek, tra trek, tail. Tail, tail. Okay. The New York Times Connections. Visa is a company. Chase, discover. Credit? That could work. Credit's wrong. What? No. It's a red herring. Fuck. Tail chase. Track. Track find. Chase, tail. All things dogs do. Fuck. Chase, track, tail. Discover. Shadow. Shadow. Pursuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Praise. Credit. Props. And... Name. Name? You could, This is all uh, ways to give glory. But it wouldn't be glory. It'd be like glorify, right? Or something? Props, praise, credit. I'm blanking. I, glory could be right, but I think it might be wrong. Oh, thank God. Okay, kudos. Glory to you and you as well. Amen. What is it here? We still have discover. Discover, learn, realize, find. Keep it simple, stupid. Name, photo, stamp, visa. Things you need for uh, traveling. Close enough. All right. Daily trivia. Starting with the NFL. A dual threat. Running back Pierre Thomas had over 3,700 uh, 700 rushing yards and 2,600 receiving yards for this NS NFC uh, team. Pierre Thomas. Was he not on the Saints, the New Orleans Saints? After four years playing point guard for Duke basketball, Greg Paulus transferred and started at QB at this, at the time, Big East school coached by Doug Maroney. Doug, Doug Maroney, big time school. Give me Michigan State. Now a three-time uh, NBA All-Star, the Lithuanian big man dropped 19 points and 10 rebounds as 11-seed Gonzaga blew out three-seed Utah in Jakob Powelto in the 2016 round of 32. Lithuanian. Who the fuck's Lithuania? Uh, no, no, Novic? Novic? Novak? Not Novak. No, no, Nocic? Navic? Nocic, Novic, uh, Mo Mocic, Movic, <laughs> Movic, Jok, Jok, Jokic, Nikola, Jok, Jok, Jokic, Jokic. He's not Lithuanian. He's Serbian, right? Uh, Don Doncic. He's not Lithuanian either, right? Fuck it. Uh, geography. Bern is the capital of what European city? Come on, don't make me laugh. Celebrity mashup. Wow. I believe that is... 
the actor who played the Bone Arrow guy. What's his name? Jeremy Jeremy Renner. I always wish there was a place where I could talk about him with my friends. But the woman escapes me. Purple dress. Yanny, or maybe Laurel. I mean, it's not Scarlett Johansson. I always want to go there. Hmm. Reddish hair, Scarlett Johansson, Amy Adams. Fuck. Snacks and candy. In 2022, what cookie brand received a previously discontinued variety known as Cakesters? I don't know, Nabisco? Television. Created by Dan Harmon, this sitcom originally ran on NBC from 2009 to 2014. And in 2015, Yahoo commissioned its final season for its streaming service, Yahoo Screen. Wow, I could not tell you. My Dan Harmon lore is... Wait, is it not Community? After roles as a child actor in films like RV, Little Manhattan, Kicking and Screaming, this actor took on the role of Peta Mellark in The Hunger Games. That is, uh, oh my god. He was just in the FNAF movie. Dude, what the fuck? He has a hit song. Fuck. I, I can imagine his freaking big ass head but i can't think of him hold up i'm gonna get back to that one if if you're lost you can look and you'll find find me oh this is not from frozen these are lyrics from what 1984 cindy lopper song if if you're lost you can look you'll find me you will fall i will catch cindy lopper Cindy Lauper. It's called Find Your Love. Okay. Peta Mellark. Dude, what is his fucking name? It is. Okay, no, no, I can get there. I can get there. Mind Palace. Mind Palace. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Beta. Dude, I actually am just thinking. I'm thinking of Lois's face in my brain. God, now I'm thinking of Brian. Uh, I remember all these movies. RV, Robin Williams, Kicking and Screaming, Will Ferrell. Uh, Sean. Sean. Uh, Sam. Sam. Um... Tom, Tommy, uh, Edward, dude, what the, Ben, give me Ben Carson, dude, I don't fucking know what it is, man, I'm, I'm so mad at this one, what is it, Josh, oh my god, why couldn't I get there, I know it wasn't Ben Carson, I just wanted to throw out a guess, I felt like it was taking too long. College football, it was Syracuse. Okay. College basketball, it was DeMontis Shabonis. Cool. This was Jeremy Renner and Deborah Messing. Wow, I would have never gotten that ever. But I'm happy I got Jeremy Renner. Oreos. I thought Oreos were owned by Nabisco. Real shit. Movies, Josh, yeah. And then the song was called Time After Time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Fuck me, dude. I should have gotten five on this one. Let's go to a thing I'm really good at. Imitative. A adjective meaning marked by imitation. Imitative Often originates imitative. from late. Never replicated. Default. A noun meaning failure to do something required by duty or law. Ludwig defaults on his loans. Venomous. An adjective meaning producing venom in a specialized gland and capable of inflicting injury or
Dimension. A noun meaning measure in one direction, specifically, one explanation. A noun meaning the act or process of explaining. Explanation. A noun. Spiracle. A noun meaning a breathing hole, vent. The word originates from sheldrake. A noun meaning shellduck. Sheldrake comes from e innovator. A verb meaning e innovator. A verb e innovator. A she verb meaning e innovator. E innovator. A verb meaning to make changes, do something in a new way. Innovatus originates from Latin, combining in and novus, meaning new. E innovator. A verb meaning to make changes, do something in a new. Topiary. A noun meaning a plant shaped by topiary art. Topiary. Terabyte. A noun meaning 1024 gigabytes or 1 trillion 99 billion. Fuck. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. The word originates from French where it literally translates to griffin. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. The word originates from French where it literally translates to griffin. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. What the the word originates from French where it literally translates griffin, to griffin. 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 Ah, mais bien sûr que c'est ge, ge, rif, ge, riffin. It is griffin. Uh, grief, it is grief, grief, uh, griffin. Griffin. But it is, it is griffin, of course. Quatrefoil. A noun meaning a conventionalized representation of a flower with four petals or of a leaf with four leaflets. Quatrefoil originates from Middle English and Anglo-French. Meaning a four leaf set. Sporin, a noun meaning a pouch, usually of skin with the hair or fur on, that is worn in front of the. Malachite, a noun meaning a green mineral that is a base. Outre, a adjective meaning violating convention or propriety. Bizarre, the word originates from Old French ultra, meaning to go beyond or excess. Outre. Uh, but of course, the word is outre. It is outre. Uh, it is very French, this word. It is outre, outre, outre. Outre, outre, outre. Outre. Outre, outre. But it is, it is, of course, outre. It is outre. It is a French word. Uh, fuck! I was... I was not close. Outre. Outre. Man, I, I went to... I don't know why I put two O's. I could have got there. Okay, wait. Venomous? What? Oh, it's an O? Oh, yeah, like venom. Okay. E-innovator. Why the fuck did she say it so weird? I had that one. Bro, did you hear her? She kept going, E-innovator. E-innovator. E innovator. I thought it was like some fucking like esports type shit. That's so cringe. Terabyte. I threw an extra R for the fans. Sorry. Griffin. Griffon. Oh man. Okay, that's my bad. Quaterfoil. Oh, that makes sense. Sporin. Okay, that's annoying. Malakad. I got outre. Okay. If she said, if she said outre, I would have got there. Outer. Cooter. Uh, all right, I would like to go from Eritrea to Latvia. I respect the desire, and I will help you on your journey. The first thing we need to do is go south through Russia. That is the quickest way. Uh, if we're going south through Russia, we might go through Ukraine. That would be not the wisest choice. We would actually prefer to go to Turkey. Uh huh. Now, what connects Turkey and Russia? It's a good question. Many people think about it. The answer is Belarus. You're all the way the fuck up there. Let's go Egypt. Because that's somewhere in this puzzle. Why, why are you turned and shit? Stop turning. Okay. Uh, so we need to connect Russia to Turkey. How do we connect Russia to Turkey? Russia to Turkey. Russia to Turkey. Iran. Okay. Uh, don't love it. Don't love it. Can I connect R Iran in? Give me a Turkmenistan. No, no, no. Let's focus on Egypt. 
How do we even get to Eritrea? There's a country, it's, is it Malawi? Nope, it was not that, Ludwig. It was, it's on the right, it's Mali. Mali. Okay, we are fucking this! Senegal. Just, just fucking strike me down. What am I thinking of? So it's Egypt, and then you go fucking Eritrea. Okay, I'm thinking of a fucking... I can't think of it. Okay, how do you go from Turkey to Egypt? Greece? Th then boat! Sorry. Uh, Connect Russia and Turkey. How do you connect Russia and fucking Turkey, bro? What's south of Ukraine? Romania. Romania to Greece. There's like 8,000 countries between them. Uh, Bulgaria. Finally. Finally. Okay, so now we have a line. We have a line. We go Latvia to Belarus to Ukraine to Romania to Bulgaria to Greece to Turkey. And now all we need to do is connect Turkey to Eritrea. Somalia. I was thinking of Somalia this whole time. That is so far south, Ludwig. Holy shit. Sudan. Oh, you have to go through. Oh, my God. You have to go through Israel. and Wait, they connect? I'm dead ass learning about that. I did not know they connected. I did not know Egypt and Israel connected. Is there, there must be, a, there's a body of water. No, so that's what the Suez Canal is. There is a body of water. There's a body of water. A canal is not a body of water. Okay, now I feel like we're getting pedantic. How much is Ottavio pure avocado oil? One liter from Costco. Avocados are rare right now. I don't know if they're going to factor that in. It might not even change the price. One liter. It's a lot. I think we're going to be near the $10 mark. Not totally there. Seven ninety nine. We need to go way up. Ten ninety nine. Bang. <sighs> okay. Time guesser. Los Angeles Portrait Studio. Rotres Rotries, New York. Are we in LA? Are we in New York? Edinburgh, London, Luxbury, sir. What the? Where the fuck are we? Why does it have? What does Los Angeles Portrait Studio even mean? Cadbury, like the eggs. Are we in UK? I guess we're in UK. Are we in Cadbury, UK? Let's just go London. London! We're, this bus is also on the left. 19 fucking 29. 1931. 1934. A bus driver loading luggage onto the roof of an Edinburgh, London bus. I guess I should have read the sign that did say uh, Edinburgh on it, but... Edinburgh! Uh, all right, there we go. Jordan, 
United Nations. I think we're in Jordan. Uh, Jordan, I'll just go city center, and it looks like it looks like the 60s, right? Maybe even older. Maybe the 50s? 1959. It was 1950. I was right. It was Jordan. My location was 1.6 kilometers off. That was a fucking amazing guess, man. Wow. What a pretty picture. 25 cents. America? We're talking miles? We're talking miles. We got to be in America. We see a yellow cab. We got to be in New York. Almost every single time guesser has Manhattan in it. So let's just go Manhattan, uh, Greenwich Village, nineteen eighty three. It was nineteen sixty two. It was Manhattan. So my location's great. My time is off. Um, Haven Paul Polite Politi Haven Politi. The fuck is this? Knights of the Round Table? What am I looking at here? What, are they taking off on a D&D &D quest? What is this? Is this 1504? What the fuck am I looking at? This is the Crusade. They've left the ports of Copenhagen in 1900. 1946... It was actually Amsterdam. It was Sinterklaas, the Dutch variation of St. Nicholas, greeting onlookers in Amsterdam. One more. Nihongo. Nigo. Nigoya? Okay, we're in Japan. Looking at all the shit in the background and the suits they're going through, we might be in... Uh, uh, shit. Fukuoka? Or is it Fukushima? Fuck. No, it's Fukushima, right? Where the hell is Fukushima? All right, I'm pretty sure they had a earthquake in 2011. And the earthquake, yep, here it is, Fukushima, fucked up a nuclear reactor, which is maybe why they're dressed the way that they are. And they're cleaning up that mess in Fukushima. The great Tohoku earthquake. Let's take a look. It was 2013, members of the International Atomic Energy Agency Committee working to safely decommission Fukushima nuclear power station after the 2011 disaster. I was right, but I should have guessed it was by the ocean. Coastal. Duh. Uh, all right. Not bad. Total score, 34K. I will take it. I'll take it. I thought the earthquakes would trigger the... A nuclear disaster, not the tsunami. Sinterklaas is nuts. The lore goes that he enslaves the devil for the night to help him deliver Christmas presents. The devil is portrayed by Dutch people wearing blackface. They still do this. Okay. <laughs> hey, Pooks, just want you to know you're my favorite MCR. Wait. Hey, Pooks, just want to know what your favorite My Chemical Romance song is. I write sins, not tragedies. I was set to move to Japan as a kid, but then 2011 happened. Your life would have changed. You'd be in a different spot. I like when they go, oh, I chime in. Haven't you people ever heard of? Uh, all right, chat. We are done with our dailies. Unless there's a daily I'm missing. 
Is there a daily I'm missing? Play strands? Fine. Fine, I'll play fucking strands. So you can guys that you can laugh at me as I miss my crossword puzzle. Romeo and Juliet. Uh lovers. Lover love. Love. Okay. Um Fuck, I don't know. Uh, what the fuck are the family names? It's Romeo, the Capricorns, and the gay. Gayest. Gayest. Gay. What the fuck is it called? What's their last name? It's the Capricorns and the Daffodils. Romeo or Romeo, let down your long hair. Dude, I don't know shit about Romeo and Juliet. Okay, what about this top right corner? It's kind of cut off in a way. Poison. I see you. Suicide. Fuds. Feuds. F what? Feuds really wasn't it? Feud. Okay, that's annoying. Start. Star. St oh. St 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 starry. What the fuck do you want from me? Rats. Kratz. Aristocats? Kratz? What the fuck am I? Tr Trats. Tats. What, what do you, ah! Stat. Start. No, dude, I don't know what it is, man. Okay. Um. Dude, I I just really don't know anything about this fucking play. Stacy. Stargy. Tra, tra, ta, 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 tar, 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 targi. Hint, kiss. Hint. What the fuck? What the hell is this word? S wrist. Tr trist. What the fuck is a trist? Sol. Solaco. So lazy. That's crazy. I missed that. Holy shit. That's crazy. I missed that. Kratz. Stark. Star. Sta. Starker. Rats. Rat. Rats. Dude, what the fuck? It, it, it can't be anything else. Scrats. What is a scrat?
Dude, I, I'm, I'm going crazy here. Oh, okay, I won't use any more hints. Coney. Deb, Debay. Debay. Deb, Debba. Deba. Yeba, 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 no. This is this is getting me upset. This area right here, it has to connect. Sta, okay, st sta, star, stark, starks, starker, stark, so, starks. Okay, the other way. Scrats, crats, rats, rat, ats. What? Like what? What? Crats, Aristo, Ariso, Aris, Aris, Ariso, Crats, all the Crats, oh, all the, all look, oh, yo, but be, Beal, Bealo Crats. Bell a de a cal cat na be ba balacrats. Okay, be ba ba ball ball scrats. Be na ni ya de desacrats. Please stop pretending. Democrats. Democrats. Calocrats. Cal Calsocrats? Dude, what the fuck is this, man? Nascrats. The the Oh dude, it's the fucking Basscrats. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing. It's the Cascrats. Dude, it's the fucking Lascrats. It's the Ross Kratz. It's the Rose Kratz. <laughs> Dean. Bean. Beanie. Deanie. Bacon. Deacon. Beacon. Le Lank Lanko. Lanock. Yanock. Bay Banko. Bay no Bay Dude, what the f S Slanock. S S Scan. Goni. Dude, I am just not having a good time here. What is this word? The Desocrats? The Des... The Desocrats. The D-E-S... Des Desorcrats. Oh, dude, this is embarrassing. Balcony. Okay. The star crossed. Oh my god. It's crazy that star crossed backwards is the word Kratz. And I'm sitting here like bureaucrat, Democrat. 
I thought it was the last name of one of the families. I, I don't fucking watch Romeo Juliet plays. All right. All right. Fucking, you know, spoiler alert. They love each other. Their families hate each other. They kill themselves. Okay. Boom. All right. So I, I was sitting here going like, it's probably fucking Romeo Allocrat. Or like Juliet Democrat. You know, and that, that's their last fucking name. English major, respectfully, with all due respect, modern English is more inspired by Kai Sanat than William Shakespeare. Okay? Nobody's saying doth. We're saying riz. And yat. <laughs> so... What is this game? Chat, what is this game? Why does this look like Suica game? It is like Suica game. No pêssego, no pêssego. Oh, no pêssego! No pêssego, no pêssego. How's who's who made this game? Where is this? Is this on Switch? I think. Tô bem. Tô bem, tô bem, tô bem. Calma, 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 calma. O negócio vai passando, vai passando, vai subindo. What's it called? It's literally called 3D Suica? No, it's called Fruit Mountain. Looks like we got a new game to play, folks. A pera se mantém fortíssima aqui. É possível. Play contexto. Fine. Fine, man. Penis. Bridge. Job. House. Town. City. Water. State. Country. Office. Worker. Park. Sex. Work. Deliver, drive, bin, city, city, mail, work. worker, work, money, paid, boss, cry, street, home. Family, mom, pregnant, food, eat, groceries, shop, buy, sell. Okay. All right. Work, deliver, home, city, jail, basketball. Baby. New York. Pizza. Shop. Store. Front. Desk. Chair. Car. Vaccine. Taxi, airport, work, deliver, home, bike, city, train, 
person, public. Uh, government, job. Career, path. Okay, career. Public pay, office, country, money. This is fucking hard. Work, deliver. Letter, write. Read. Math, learn. School, teach. Dinner, friend, alone, sad, happy. Fire, police. Infrastructure, celebrate. Goal, soccer, coward. Ambition, belief. Church, horse, delegate, hour, ass, butt, tushy, crack, ass, hole, cheek. Let's boot up. Okay. All right. Skyscraper. Skyscraper. Building? Build. Construction. Hard. Work. What's related to work? Work. Commute. Home. Work from home. Online. Work from home. Online. Uh, network. W. W in chat. Uh, okay. Chat. Chat, 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 Please play Bandle. Oh, fuck. Another one bites the dust. Da, 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 da. Smoking weed with all of my friends. No, I'm smoking weed with all of my friends. I said, I'm gonna do it first. I'm I don't know the fucking name of the song. And we're up all night, all night. And we're, and we're holding, and we're feeling, and we're thinking, and we're love, and we're love. And we, and you, and you touch my, and you feel my, and you love my, and you want me. And you hurt me, and you break me, uh, and you kill me. I'm the bad guy. Do 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 do. When you bump all night, another one. When you break my heart, I didn't. Don't don't don't. Dude, I love when they name the song something so fucking obvious. Because sometimes they obfuscate it. 
but this time it did not feel obfuscated at all. It felt, if anything, not obfuscated. Welcome to Spottle. Guess the mystery artist. Daft Punk. It did. It's male gender group size two. Debut album was after 1997. The fuck does group size two mean? So I need. Okay, the strokes. It is American. They're more popular, and they debuted after 2001. Harry, St no, he's not American. Who's American? Who's an American dude? Justin Bieber. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Forgot that fucker was Canadian. God damn it. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Kashi? Okay, so it's before, it's really close to like 2002 or three. Why is he group size? Oh, the size of the group is two people. Oh my God, uh, what's that one fucking band? Dude, we are fucking, oh my God, what's the band? It's the, it's not the fucking. And then there's that one video on YouTube that killed the band because it was like, this is every rum taker song. And it's just, there's this dude who's high as shit. It was like, and they had like a repeater pedal. Oh man, what's their name? What is their name? The Breathtakers. No. Fuck, what's their name? The Heart Believers. Fuck, dude. Lonely Island? <laughs> dude, what is the fucking group name? I'm cheating. Chain Smokers. I cheated for that. I looked at chat. What the fuck? Did this website break? Fuck you mean they're not? Fuck you mean they're... Fuck. Shit. Okay, that's wrong. Two people. Two people debuted... Who's a two-person fucking group? Two person. Simon and Garfunkel? I mean, I know it's way earlier, but... What the fuck's the genre? What's the damn genre? Okay, let's get the year right. Simple plan. When did they come out? Really close to 2004. They're Canadian? Wow, that's so sad. Who dropped an album in 2002 or 3? 2002 or 3. Who dropped an album? Their first album, 2002 or 3. Uh, the soundtrack for Star Wars... <laughs> For what's the second Star Wars movie even called? Fuck. 2002. Baha Men. Baha Men. Baha Men. The Baha. The Baha. The Ba. Coldplay. Okay, the genre is alternative. It's a 2002 to 2003 American male group with two people in it. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I genuinely have no clue. Mm. 
boys, men, the the killers. 2003. All right, it came out. Well, the killers wasn't a bad guess, except for the size. No. All right. They are around the 300th largest group. Actually, no. They are around the 450th largest group. Or, uh, and they came out in 2003. It's a group size of two. It's male. It's alternative. It's American. Chat, help me out. The White Stripes. No, it was the Black Keys. Fuck. That one was hard, man. Velodal? The fuck is Velodal? Guess the Valorant agent? No, come on. Guess the game? Guess the game? Dead by Daylight. Rust. Route 16. What's that game called where you drive across the entire world? Pacific Drive. That was a cheat, by the way. It wasn't clear. All right, chat. Tradle and global. All right, I crush a trade. Wait, I crush a tradle and a global right now. Forty-seven billion dollars, and their main export is agriculture: corn, wheat, seed oils, some iron ore. So very much a farming country. What country exports farming goods? Maybe a Scotland. In Ireland? Uh, okay, quite a bit to the right of Ireland. Who's farming to the right of Ireland? What are they doing over in Belarus? South of Belarus. Bulgaria? No. Romania. North right of Romania. Ukraine? All right, global. Guess the country? Ukraine? Mm, Jordan? France? Russia? China? Mongolia. Easy? What country is this? Kyrgyzstan. Latvia? Chechia? Switzerland? Come on, dude. Thank you, the 50 gifted Joseph Gallo. I appreciate that very much. It's very nice, and I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Play Framed. What movie is this? Gladiator 2. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? Fucking... Thor, Ragnarok, 
This is some fucking piece of shit Marvel movie I never watched. Uh, Black Widow. Fucking Marvel. Miss Marvel. Captain Marvel. Wonder Woman. I looked at chat. I was right. That's DC. Oh, <laughs> that is awkward. Thank you, the 50. Ronnie, I appreciate it. Play Myrtle. Okay, this is my last one. This is my last one. I do have to go. Oh, no. This is way too hard for me. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have hoodwinked me into a very long last one. No, 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 no. That is, that is, that is a tough one. Bazingle might be more your speed. Wait, I played Bazingle. What is it? Oh, it's like a Wordle, right? Wait, no. What the fuck's Bazingle? Food Guesser? It is beans, sauerkraut, potatoes, bacon, spare ribs, and garlic. Guess what it is? What country the dish is from? Beans, sauerkraut, I don't know. Ireland? Warm. Uh, Scotland? UK? Uh, Wales, give me Wales. Okay, no. United Kingdom? Still warm. It is more... Is it telling me to go north? Or is it telling me it's to the right? Istrian stew. Germany. Very hot. Uh, Denmark. Not as hot. South right of Germany. Uh, Czechia. It was Croatia, Italy, and Slovenia. No. What a shame. I wasted a guess because I saw the N on the compass and I assumed it meant north and it did, but that's because compasses have an N on them. It's called Istrian stew, also known as Jota. It's a traditional dish from the Istrian region of Croatia. It's a hearty stew made with ingredients such as sauerkraut, beans, potatoes, and various meats. And it looks fire. It does look fire. Oh, you know what? All right, one Luddle. One Luddle just for the fans to wrap it up. I tried speedrunning drive throughs That was this year. It was... Was that? No, that was last year. It must have been October last year, maybe November. August, wow. My game show broke Twitch. This is Hive Mind, which aired in, I don't know, February 2022. The human tests. Eh? I don't know. Uh, May 2023. Oh, my God. How Mr. Beast embarrassed me in front of 100,000 people. This is the show match against Tyler 1 at Las Vegas. It was summer, if I remember. It was very hot. I remember thinking it was hot. I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before. Maybe August 2022? July. Uh, Legend of the Chokewig. This is Nuzlocke. April twenty April twenty twenty. No, too late. Okay, good score. Good score, man. I was watching the Reels versus Shorts versus TikTok VOD and realized my laugh has turned into yours. I've made the executive decision that I've watched too much Ludwig by for a week. It's a fair decision I've made. 
thank you all very much for hanging out with me today. I'm ending stream now. I will be back tomorrow, probably to play that new 3D Suica game, or I've heard this game called Shinkansen Zero. It's a horror game. So either of those. Anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. If you guys wouldn't mind, I have a YouTube video that I'm going to upload. It's actually 100 shorts versus 100 TikToks versus 100 YouTube, uh, or excuse me, 100 shorts versus 100 TikToks versus 100 reels. So check out that video. It's much better than the live experience, I'll tell you that much. And then also, Cutie's live. She's making a cake. If you guys want to give her some love, I'd appreciate it. Here's the link. And that's it, guys. I'm out. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you guys for buying me stocks that made a lot of money. I appreciate that. Uh, and then, just a heads up, it will be a bit of a weird couple of days of streams. Not tomorrow, but Monday and Tuesday. Because I'm traveling for something. So, I will stream still. But exactly what the streams will be and when, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Pull up Connor's stream right now. Connor reads pants. What's Connor doing? But Monday and Tuesday, because I'm traveling for something. So I will stream still, but exactly. What the fuck is this? Why am I in Minecraft? The hell? Why are they starting a new SMP? You didn't see the past two big ones and think, ooh, an SMP, maybe not the best idea. Oh, yeah, this always ends well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get a bunch of people on a Minecraft server to, uh, to start fucking hanging out making content. Surely this, there's no way this can fail. I'm out. Have a good one. Do something nice for future yourselves. I'm out. I'm out. See you later. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. I can't end the stream, though, because the end stream button's frozen because Chrome. Oof. This is awkward. Okay. Fuck. I literally can't hit the end stream button. It. The, fuck, dude. Come on. So this never happens to me. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go. Mine! It's frozen. It's fucking frozen. End, bro. End. End. So, uh, who else do you guys like watching uh, for streams? Squeaks? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. He's kind of cool.